And hello, Shock fans, your beloved soldier of the Inverted Cross, Rip, the full-blown freak show. Here for another, well, as you can tell by the title, it's another uh, Bionicle Mock. And also, Sleepy Kitty. Um, uh, anyways, what I was saying was, um, uh, you can tell by the title what it is. reason I did this mock was two reasons. One, Krika is one of my favorite villains from Barnacle, one of my favorite sets. Two, the odds of him being in this reboot, at least for a very long time, and highly doubt he will be in it, um, are very likely. So most likely we won't be seeing him. Uh, and also, those are the two, two, the two major reasons. The third reason is because the older Barnacle sets before the Hero Factory build system came out are very fragile. Krika, my Krika had a huge break in one of the shoulder joints. And I've been updating a ton of figures, a few Hero Factory villains. Uh, mm, uh, I mean, I'm upgrading, upgrading of the heroes. Uh, other than Natalie Breeze, I did do a few minor upgrades to her. Uh, and the, I did the Takanuva. And I did a huge Makuda. Yeah, I know I, I mentioned that last time. And I got a lot of re reviews on that pretty quickly. Uh, just for the record. Wearing a necklace made from the Onua mask because that's the first Bonacle I ever got. Crick, it's on enough talking. Let's get on to Cricka. Um, basically, uh, what this custom was was after I took Witch Doctor apart to get pieces from Akuda, I wanted to make a skeleton guy. Well, I I used a uh, kind of basic body. It looked kind of dull. So, I, I took the arms and legs I built, which are just the basic Hero Factory style kind of build. Uh, and I took uh, some of Cricket's parts and used Cricket's body because the Bonacle bodies were fine. Nothing wrong with those. I just upgraded the joints and here we go. Let's have a look at him. This is, would be Bonacle 2015 Cricket. I used his uh, leg bits like for samurai skirt. These are like the, just the regular hair factory parts. These are the pieces off Witch Doctor, the tubes off Witch Doctor, Krika's head, obviously. A custom painted sword. This end isn't painted the sword. Uh, he's got the spikes all over. Back of him, I, I was running low on some of the pieces. So I had to use these light blue ones from Thorn Racks whenever I get some better ones to upgrade. He's got the feet with the three-toed kind of paraka feet with the spikes here. Hero bodies to end like in samurai boots. Uh, the chest, the way I rigged this up is right here. I use these gray pieces with the, they're from the older box sets. I put two here and then I used it to put two facing downward and then click these, these body. They don't um, restrict any movement or anything. Uh, they actually just feel in some of that gapiness because his chest was kind of sunken in. Um, also, in this hand, he's holding a severed head, one of the older Toa heads. The uh, reason I want these down here, because if I had every bit of the crap at the top, is because um, it would kind of take, and this across the chest, I didn't want to just be plain bland white. That's what I hated about Witch Doctor. It was solid white for the most part, other than the joints and stuff. Um... The way I rigged up this piece on the back was I used one of the ball socket pieces. I uh, used one of the blue pins to peg it into his, uh, the lower part of his waist here. Then I used the, um, I'm trying to think what you call these pieces. It's the piece with the crossbar in the middle, and then it has three bars jutting off of it. Uh, I plugged that into the side and then just hooked these up like side skirts. These are hooked to the others by one of the, this is the blue pieces, another one of the blue pin pieces. And then this blue pinion is just to keep it off from shifting around as much. Basically, Krika's backstory for the Bonk of 2015 that I came up with is kind of like his old one. If you guys remember in Mystica, I think it was Mystica he was in, uh, he was the first Makuta to be suspicious that Teradax wanted them dead. Because I think he said they were the Makuta most likely to challenge him. Also, I always love this head sculpt. Um... Or mask, I guess. Well, basically, the same rules apply in this. He was an ally of Makuta, kind of like the second command almost. Was loyal enough. Uh, really didn't do anything wrong, but Makuta 
saw him as one that could challenge him. So Makuta had him killed. His soldiers killed him, not Makuta himself. He didn't even do the dirty work. Well, basically, I haven't like, thought of how he died yet, but just destroying Krika's, like, just killing him wasn't good enough. He wanted to make sure he didn't survive the experience. So he told his, so he decided since the body was, since Krika's lifeless body was still there, he wanted the body destroyed, like, completely just burned. So when whoever the servant had decided of Makuta to go back to burn the body, Maku, uh, Krika's spirit came out of the body in this new form and killed it. That's what the head is. This is supposed to be the guy that worked for Makuta that was supposed to destroy Krika's physical body. Well, Krika actually destroys his own physical body in his ghost-like form and then sets off to find Makuta. Now, this doesn't mean that when he runs into the Toa that he ends up being, being their ally. It pretty much means... He hates the Toa for trying to kill him when he was alive and serving Makuta. And he wants to kill Teradax, well, Makuta. I know they call him Teradax later on. I still prefer the name Makuta later on. That's why and he sets out on his own to kill both Teradax and the Makuta. I did it again. Makuta and the Toa. Um, I know I said that once I get all the Toa, I would be reviewing them. And I still will be. And just to update, I picked up uh, Gally or Gali or whatever her name is, the Master of Water. I can't. I could never pronounce her name. She's awesome. I'll be reviewing all of them as a set when I get them all. I only need four more. And to hold you guys off, I finished Makuta. He will be the next review, and both of these reviews will be posted on the same day, just a few minutes apart. Um, I don't know if I told how to put, build this part, but I used the light blue pieces. Uh, I put one of those rods all the way through into Cricket's chest. You can see the little black piece of it there. And then just hook these on. I put a gear, or if you've got one of those little pieces that creates space so it doesn't sit too close to the body, you can use it. And that way, it kept this from banging on anything. Because I always loved how sick this thing was. And I get why they didn't make this a guy who walked up right. Because the head would have been banging into everything. By making him an all-four walker, all the limbs were on the lower part of the body. But Krika, even though I love the ghostly white and the blood red, it always looked empty to me. And I'm just glad that I could feel the body out more and give him more of a scary, horrific look. Because this is how he's supposed to look, in my opinion. Maybe, I know he got mutated in the original Bonacle. Maybe this could be what he looked like before he got mutated. I don't know. I always love the build of the head with the blood red eyes. The, ah, this thing's freaking awesome. So yeah, if you guys can build this, um, it wasn't really a hard build or anything. Just the basic legs, basic arms, uh, the cricket body. Just put the head, keep the head on like that. Move the swords. Which doctor's pieces back here might be a little hard to get because that set's rare and a lot of people don't want to take it apart for parts. I just didn't care that much for it. Uh, and the sword was just one of those giant butcher blades. Basically, he's kind of like a samurai in my story. He kind of looks like the shredder, like a demon shredder. So until next time, thanks for watching. Makuta is coming up next. The reason there was the delay, I don't know if I said, was I ordered something to finish it off. I wasn't happy as happy with the mask I showed you guys in the Takanuva slash Makuta video. And I ordered something to make this better and make it look definitely like Makuta. So yeah. I'm going I'm off to film that one. Until next time, this has been your beloved soldier of the inverted cross, Rip, the full blown freak show. Signing off, farewell.